On Sunday, Manchester Phoenix came down to the top of the ice rink, flying high at the top of the table, hoping to pick up two points. After the good performance that was put in by Telford Tiger, Netminder, and Declan Ryan on Saturday, he was hoping for another good performance to hopefully give himself a shutout. Star game had a real good tempo to it. Manchester Phoenix taking most of the possession and the shots and chances on. However, Tigers, keeping up with that good defensive progress that was made, were able to keep them at bay for quite a while. And turning a lot of chances through into attack. This one coming on very early on with Mark Hornick unable to get his stick on that puck to knock it in for an early lead. This has soon got the Telford Tigers fans all up and amped as well, which was spurring on the team. However, Manchester very good on the break, getting the puck and making those rushes. Declan Ryan standing up to the challenges. Phoenix with the better chances really in the start of the first period. Getting a lot of turnovers, however, now and again, the odd sloppy mistake was letting Tigers get through. Hungry, chasing all the pucks, waiting for those little moments where they could try and get something. Manchester Phoenix, however, were quite unlucky with this effort. Puck actually going in the back of the net, however, the referee had already blowed the whistle, thinking that the play was dead and that Declan Ryan had caught the puck. Tuggers again, they're trying to capitalise on this, get themselves with other good efforts again, not being able to get that final touch though. The tempo of the game didn't slow down either. They just kept it at a very high pace. Manchester Phoenix are taking the lead here by this goal by Faith. This, however, didn't last too long as Tigers were able to strike back with this goal tipped in here by Joe Henry. Taking the score to 1 1. Great end to end stuff in the first period for both teams having their chances. Manchester probably getting the better chances though, really, as it was going for inspired saves by Declan Ryan. Kept them in it. And. This little slip up here as well, just as the very end of the first period was coming to a close. Ernie let Manchester slip him. End of the first period though, it was one apiece. Second period started off pretty much exactly the same as the first. Very high tempo, Manchester again, keeping up the pressure with lots of good chances. This time though, Telford getting a few better shots getting away. This effort from Tom Watkins. However, it was the day of the netminders and the D-men, keeping everyone at bay. It's fantastic saves coming from both ends. Another very nearly moment as well was this effort. Scott McKenzie, beautiful play to get the puck through, but again, just not quite hitting the twine. Hit this one rebounding off the metal work. As many efforts as the Tigers are getting, and as good as they were, Manchester Phoenix getting exactly the same. Such a competitive game. It was a real treat for the fans.
and probably the save of the day as well is this one here Lou Brittle coming down on the break laying it off there for Yuri Hamza fantastic stick save probably one of the more impressive parts as well of Tiger's game on Sunday was how they were dealing with penalty kills Joe Henry picking up this penalty for boarding Manchester saw their chances to try and capitalise on this, get themselves in the lead. But Tigers kept it tight, worked it well, making the clear. The end of all three periods though, it was still one apiece and went into overtime which still couldn't be resolved. First of all, Senko for the Tigers, putting this one home, taking it up to 1-0. Manchester Phoenix however though on their first penalty, this puck just landed just on the line and was not given. Mark Hornack stepped up there to bury his effort, taking the Tigers to a 2-0 lead, but Fife restored hope for Manchester Phoenix with his goal going in. Joe Henry had the chance to take three goals for the Tigers, however his effort was denied. However, this save by Declan Ryan and two points for the Tigers. You know, I don't want to take the gloss off it in any way, but it's, it's just one win. You know, Peterborough picked up points against Guildford this evening, so we've got to make sure that we're doing the same and uh, certainly win our home games. And with the solid performances, uh, you know, we should be able to do that. I think the key is really lifting, lifting yourselves up for Manchester and the sides as well. Well, it is, you know, whether we're more organised, more, uh, more aware of the other teams when we're playing the top teams, but we've got to play the same way when we're playing Swindon, when we're playing Peterborough. And, uh, you know, if we, if we dig in and make it hard for teams, we can uh, we can win games. We've got to start bearing down and taking more of our chances. That's a bit frustrating from my point of view. Um, but you know what? It's, uh, it's not how many, it's how, isn't it? And, and how you get it done, and we got it done tonight. So the defensive pressing network quite a huge part. Oh, you know, I think your biggest member of the team on any team is always your goaltender. Um, if you've got a hot goaltender, you, you, you have a chance to win. Um, defensively, we were, we were pretty strong tonight, you know, as we were last night. Um, but offensively, we just got to pick it up a little bit. I'm going to be asking guys in the week to, you know, be mindful of their jobs, not just defensively. But there's guys in there who can score goals, and uh, we need them to start scoring on a regular basis. Uh, it's always a tough place to play, Chelford. I thought two teams battled well. I thought we uh, and we had enough chances to win the game, but I didn't think we really were burying our chances as much uh, as like I'd like to see. But we battled well uh, over time, and it can go either way. Uh, and I thought even even. Uh, sorry, penalty shots go either way, but even in overtime, had a couple of chances there. And uh, I thought, um, you know, we, we battled hard. I'd just like to have again, scored a few more goals. With that, if we have a look at the rest of the scores that came out of Sunday's results, as we see there, Telford winning against Manchester Phoenix on penalties. Bracknell lost out to Swindon 1 0. A reverse score to what happened there the night before. Slow Jets 1, Milton Keynes Lightning 3. Milkins picking up two wins and getting themselves a four point weekend. Probably another big shock as well was Peterborough 6, Guildford Flames 4. Peterborough picking up their first win of the season. And Sheffield 4, Basingstoke 2. Now those results have affected the table in this way. Top of the league now is Manchester Phoenix on nine points. However, Sheffield with their win, they've been able to close the gap down there and they've moved up to second on eight points. So in the Wildcats are in third, Guildford in fourth, and Milton Keynes in fifth. Slough, Bracknell, Basingstoke and Telford or Peterborough are still at the bottom of the league. 
Now, the next game for the Telford Tigers is going to be taking place away on Saturday to the Basingstoke Bison. The first time they'll be meeting this season against one another. And on Sunday, Tigers will be at home playing the Milton Keynes Lightning. As always, doors open at quarter to five with face off at half past five.